technology evolves with Capsule 2.5, an update which will increase usability, playability, and customization options of the most powerful articulation management system ever created. Create your custom articulation patches with Capsule's new Custom Articulation Lock feature. Custom Articulation Lock is a true innovation and can be activated by clicking on the small padlock icon in multi-articulation patches. Whatever you choose by key switching, especially when layering articulations on top of each other, and whatever you set up with controllers or applied legato transitions, you can freeze those settings and lock them into a single instrument. Now you can create your custom single patches. For example, a portato legato patch, or sustain and trill crossfade patch. A vibrato crossfade patch with legato. Or a single dynamic layer patch. By activating the custom articulation lock, all samples and controller settings will be merged into one single patch, and unused samples will be purged from system memory to save resources. Lock to Beat is a further enhancement for all tempo synced or mapped to beat articulations, like repetitions, measured trills, or octave runs. When enabled, the Lock to Beat option quantizes the sample start in real time to the tempo setting. So, for example, when playing a measured trill, it will be enough to press it before the beat you want it to start on. Capsule will make sure it will be triggered exactly on the beat. For users who are looking for a more in-depth legato control option, we integrated the new Legato Volume knob. This feature lets you change the volume of the legato transitions to fit them perfectly to every musical situation. When it comes to polyphonic key switching, we built in a much desired feature for custom value ranges. You are now able to change the threshold from one zone to another. For example, if we choose velocity as a controller to switch between two articulations, you can raise the threshold from the standard value 64 to 100. Now, Capsule switches over to the next articulation when the velocity value is greater than 100. Another highly demanded feature is now built in, transposing. Move the instrument ranges to be able to unify the key switch areas, or to create ensembles within contact, like violins in octaves. With Capsule 2.5, we also made improvements to make our multi-instrument concept even better. Switching within a legato line is now possible, a very useful feature, especially when it comes to legato programming. When you start a legato phrase with sustains, you are now able to end that line with a portato articulation for the very last note. This allows you to get a natural phrase ending. Of course, there will also be a legato transition between the sustains and the very last portato note.
This opens a whole new way of realism, as you can naturally finish a phrase without the need for release samples. A lot of users requested articulation switching via MIDI CC, a feature which is now on board. You can assign a CC of your choice in the controller table to be able to switch between all articulation slots via MIDI CC. Capsule 2.5 now also has a handy Clear All button to be able to unload all slots with just one click. Along with all those additional features, we're proud to announce that Capsule has become even smarter. The RAM usage is reduced. We made a lot of bug fixes and optimized Capsule for usage within VE Pro. Also, Capsule now works perfectly with the Freeze and Disable Tracks functionality within Cubase. Capsule went another step forward to make all our articulations even more flexible and smart to use. Technology evolves with Capsule 2.5.